Hi there, my name is Neil. Welcome to the Urban Explorer. If you're looking for van life content, then you have parked yourself in the right place. We're at a big castle, Carnarvon Castle. So let's go inside and see what's going on. Well, this is Carnarvon Castle, built by Edward I. And he was a bit of a weird chap, because some people say that he built this because of myth and legend. I don't care, I just think it's a cool castle. This is a big old castle, and I'm still yet to find the dragon kennels. I know it's got them, because every castle has got dragon kennels. I mean, there's a tiny little castle up there. It could be that. But I think the dragon kennels are in this castle somewhere. And I'm going to find them, and maybe a dragon. You never know.
find yourself in a, a room full of medals and the edge just comes over you to whip out your tin hat. I was going to wear this one, but I just thought it was a bit too informal. I'm in a castle, so it seems a bit modern. So these are all medals that were donated to basically the castle archives by people who have served in wars and have sadly passed away, but they've left a memory of what they did behind just so we can enjoy them. There is a lot of medals. Now one of the good things about Carnarvon Castle is that they do give you a small museum and it tells you all the history of the castle. Basically from when there were dragons to later on in life when they were fighting wars and things like that. And it goes through the whole military archive, tells you what battles were fought here, gives you the rundown to the present day, which is really good and I find really interesting. I'm not going to go through a lot of it because the video will be like three hours long. But, it's a great place to come visit, bring family, bring the family and just have a look around. Because there's so much to learn from the history and what's gone on inside a castle. Because we just think of basically medieval times. We don't think of castles back in the day when people were fighting wars. We just think of medieval. So, there's a lot of history in this castle and there's a lot documented as well well worth a visit. It still blows my mind that castles are used when basically Queen Victoria was about and it's just mind blowing. But these guys used to fight from a castle, you know, and we were being invaded by all sorts of countries. I mean, that is still a uniform and these are still uniforms that are used today.
this is the Eagle Tower. Um, it's basically like a modern day penthouse. It was built for royalty because it's a tower built within a tower. Basically for defense, but it's huge. Double thick walls with a getaway tunnel. So the Eagle Tower was the birthplace of the very first Prince of Wales, which was Edward, and he was basically born in 1284, which is a bit of a while ago, isn't it? Don't think they had Wi-Fi. I mean, there was definitely no Netflix and chill, was there? You know what I mean? Maybe train your dragon and slay a few natives. So that was Carnarvon Castle. It's a massive place. Definitely a place that I think you should visit. If you are in Wales or in the UK, take a trip to Carnarvon Castle. Carnarvon's a lovely place anyway. It's right on the seafront. There's plenty to do and see, loads of food places, and you get to see a castle. So don't forget, leave us some comments in the comment section below. Subscribe, turn on your post notifications. By the way, just up there, there's another castle video. Go and have a watch. See you soon.